Finally, I'd love to talk to you about digital technology because most Australians don't understand that Indonesia is really pushing the boundaries in some areas in fintech, in e-commerce, especially in other areas, say manufacturing, the president wants an improvement. Do you think that there are specific points of collaboration for Australia and Indonesia in that digital technology space? No, definitely. Um, and you're right to indicate that the e-commerce boom and digital economy boom, which we've been experiencing, has been primarily on the consumer side, right? So. Uh, online retail, e-commerce, uh, you know, ride hailing, uh, Gojek, Grab. Uh, the next challenge will be to make sure that kind of digital revolution penetrates industry and business, uh, and including manufacturing uh, and other industries. You know, due to labor shortages in Australia, uh, industries like mining have been on the vanguard of robotics and automation, I mean, most of the dump trucks in your mining operations are now self-driving, um, satellite-guided, GPS-guided, self-driving trucks uh, in most of your mining operations. Um, and um, I think uh, there's fascinating work being done here. Uh, in fact, I cited this to President Jokowi. Uh, there's an Australian company which has a robot uh, that is a bricklayer. Mm -hmm. It can build a brick wall 10 times faster than any human bricklayer. But just as interesting, running behind that robot is a small army of like 12 people, you know, feeding it cartridges of bricks right. and bags of mortar. Uh, so uh, we believe, and President Jokowi has expressed his belief that uh, Industry 4.0 will actually create more jobs than it destroys even in the short term, not just in the long term. Mm. Uh, so, uh, you know, we believe we have nothing to fear. Um, we've gone through many waves of technology revolution and frankly, uh, employment has only been going up, right? Uh, I think these are all exciting new technologies and, uh, you know, I just came from uh, uh, a newly launched incubator uh, here in Melbourne. Uh, which uh, is largely instigated by the Indonesian diaspora here in Australia. Uh, so there's a lot of startups. Um, and I think uh, I expect that collaboration in Industry 4.0 or digital economy will be driven by our respective young people. Uh, it's very exciting. And uh, I think, you know, we, Helen, are going to have to more and more follow their lead yes. and be in a supporting role um, because yeah i don't think uh, we can keep up with their energy and creativity but it's it's great news for for the societies of both countries thomas lembong it's been so good of you to spend some time with us thank you so much thank you Ellen.